Contrast paints are a great way of getting your models painted super fast. So guys, yes, contrast paints. ...for the contrast paints that uh, Games Workshop have come out with, the Citadel colour contrast stuff. It's happening! Contrast paints are here! It's time for... Contrast. The contrast painting video. Contrast painting. Contrast range. Don't just contrast colors. Is contrast paints. Contrast paints. The new Citadel contrast paints. Contrast, contrast colors. Alright, I'll talk about contrast paints. Hello, Wasteland. Yes, so we're finally going to talk about contrast paints because this is all that the internet seems to care about these days. Um, you know, there are a lot of good YouTube channels out there that have covered this extensively. I don't think you really need me to tell you exactly what these are. You probably already have some idea, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. So let's just look at what I use contrast paints for and why, for me, I'm only going to really use these two. Um, snake bite Leather and Robote Robot Girly Killer. Man Flesh. Um, I mean, there's another one, which is Chaos Black, which I'd love to get, but because these things are like Stardust, they're selling out faster than I can actually um, buy them. So, yeah, sadly, these are the two that I've got that I actually want. I'm not going to get all the various multicolours. I don't really see a need for them, but I will tell you exactly what these two do very well. All right, so what do I want to use these for? Well, let's just start with Gilliman Robote Flesh. Gilliman. Um, basically, if I take some of my lovely undercoated in white little fantasy type soldiers here, um, this for me is just an easy way to paint skin. So let's open this up. Is We're just going to coat it straight onto the skin and there you go. This is basically what I want my contrast paint to do really. Let's do his hands as well, why not? For me, contrast paint is two things. It's a skin wash and something that I'm going to show you in a minute. So there you go, you see it's very easy to put on, as you all know, because you've been watching these videos for the last month, <laughs> because this is all anyone's talking about. And uh, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say, really? It goes on really easy. It basically feels like a wash. Um, there's not much else to really say about contrast paint that hasn't already been said. So, you know, what you see is what you get. So yeah, as you can see, it goes on really easy. It feels so much like a wash, but it's totally not. Um, yeah, there you go. Wow, that was, that was exciting. All right, so let's have a look at the actual use of this stuff rather than painting little fantasy warriors because as nice as those are, those aren't Gaslands or anything post-apocalyptic. So, let's have a look at this rather nice car that I've got. So this is coming up in a video on Mad Car Miniatures. This is one of their sort of Polish prototype sports cars. Uh, that I think wasn't released, but I could be wrong. Um, and what I'm going to do, you see this lovely great big skull that we've got on the uh, blower on top of the engine there? What I'm going to do, I'm going to make that look gold. And how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use snake bite leather. So this is super easy. This is basically what I think of the contrasts. I use them to cheat metal effects. So let's just make it so you can actually see this nicely. Was the best angle? Probably not there. Probably there. Okay, so this skull here, I'm just going to bathe this on and it will immediately start to look like a bronzy, goldy colour. Now don't get me wrong, you don't want too much on these guys. Oh, you just slap it on, yeah. Yes, Games Workshop, because that's something you really want to be telling your players to do. Just, <laughs> just cake that paint onto the model it's a magic paint. There you go. So that's that's the use I see of contrast paints. Basically just adding details to models in a very quick and easy way. Um, I mean you can use this stuff as it says straight out of the tin and be like oh I want this guy's legs to be you know leathery. So you just go splash 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 and it will find all the cracks and do all the highlighting and blah blah blah. You've heard this all before. You know, I don't really know why you need to watch this video, but this is all anyone's talking about. It's like, oh, what do you think of the what do you think of the new contrast paints? Oh my god, they're so exciting. 
It's like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's fair enough. It's a new toy. I can appreciate that. But to be honest, it's just another product released by Games Workshop. It's not something to write home about. They think it's reinventing the wheel. It's not. I appreciate what you're doing, Games Workshop, but this isn't... Well, it's no Bretonians release, is it? <sighs> there you go. See? So yeah, so what do I use contrast paints for? Basically, for doing metal effects without having to pile up different layers of gold-coloured paint. So previously, what would have taken multiple steps to get this skull to look bronzy, goldy, brassy, you know, a nice nice yellowy browny colour is now just taking one step and that, that's something I can get behind. You do it over a silver base coat and away you go. The detail is added and it looks rather nice and it blings out the car. But for everything else like the skin on models like it's, it's just yeah like I don't particularly care for the the other coloured contrast paints. Um, I don't particularly care for like the white contrast paint which I think just does nothing um, but the snake bite leather to make gold and the flesh tone to just immediately put skin on a model yeah I'm I'm fine with that like those for me are what I need it to do and there you go so I don't think a video really need to be doing on this but people have been asking so here we are so skin tones brilliant doing a brass or a bronze finish on a model in one coat Fantastic, there it is, and we're done. We can just move on to the next other more interesting parts in the builds and the paint jobs. I'm not super hype about contrast paints. Everyone's super hype about them. I'm not. I just think they're good. It's like, it's, it's like okay, you've seen all these videos, them uh, mixing up these... Like, oh yes, I'm just going to water down my contrast paint. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use some of the contrast mixing medium. Okay, contrast so uh, here's medium. my snake bite leather again, right? Brush in onto my palette. Let's get a bit more than that. Brush onto the palette. Okay, great. I've got a bit on there. You can see water. It's a bit miscolored from painting my brush, but it's just water. Let's splash that in. Oh look, oh look, it thins down just, just like a wash would. Oh, what's this contrast medium? Contrast is it just bottled medium. water? You tell me, it might be something special. Oh, it's like ionized water. Oh, it's special magic water. So they're clearly not using water because you've told told us that they uh, they don't work well with water. Yep. Oh, mixing it with contrast medium. But to be honest, if I can just do this, what's the point in in them selling an additional product? Like it's it's so simple and it just goes on like it's not like oh well it's not going to dry properly now no it's going to dry absolutely fine because you can water this stuff down absolutely fine and no one seems to talk about that and i don't know why everyone's like going oh yes well contrast, contrast medium is so medium. important i can't wait for them to release it why you can just mix it with water like it's not it's there's no there's no difference there it's not like oh my god now this bit isn't going to dry as well as this bit like, no, it's going to dry just the same. It doesn't make any sense to me. Am I missing something? It's like on this guy. Okay, so I've got the sort of steely chain mail armor there. As you can see, I'm going to put some of this watered down contrast, contrast on. Medium. Oh, no, it's not going to dry properly now. Of course it is. It's, it's Everything Games Workshop makes is water soluble. I don't get why people are buying these contrast medium, contrast medium. watered down pots. It's just. Look, I've mixed it with water and it goes on fine. What am I missing? Is there some special alchemical ingredient? Because I don't think there is. Like that's that's perfectly fine. I don't I don't see it. All right, okay. That's enough of me talking trash about Games Workshop. But seriously, if you can just mix it with water, why why are they selling a contrast, contrast medium? Contrast medium. But all right, let's uh, let's wrap this video up. So yes, um, I'll be having that uh, competition updated soon, and I'll also be getting ready to give away those free cars. Don't worry, the video is coming. It's just time. Mad cars video is coming out soon. Keep an eye out for that. And yes, there will be a discount code for that as well. But we'll have to wait until that video comes out. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching Wasteland, and goodbye. This is Contrast Paints. Robote Gilliman.